Hello YouTubers and welcome to Assets Tech Tips. Recently I put up a video showing you how to create a Minecraft server. Now I'm going to show you how you can gain access to the server from any internet connection. So what you need to do first off is you need to find out a little bit of information and you need to do a little port forwarding. So what we need to do is we need to forward the ports for Minecraft. Now, the port for Minecraft is 25565. Now what you need to find out is what is your internal IP address and what is your default gateway. And you can do that by holding down the Windows key and tapping R, typing in command CMD, and then typing in IP config. Now, your IP address will be the IPv4, this one here, and your router's firmware will be the default gateway. So let's take a note of that. Okay, now closing down that. Now what you want to do is you want to forward the Minecraft port. And a great way to do this is to go to portforward.com. So open up your internet browser and type in port forward. And the first one you get here is portforward.com. Now push and hold down the control key and tap F for find and you'll see down here you'll have an option to search. Take a look at the back of your router to find out what model you have and enter in the model down in this find box. So my router is the Asus RTN 56U so I'm going to type in RT-N 56U and here we have my router. Skip the advert. And now back down to the find box and you want to type in Minecraft. And here you can see we have Minecraft server. So click on that. And what this here is now is it's a screenshot of what your firmware is going to look like and how you enter in your port to forward. So in my case, it tells me how to access my router, it tells me what port I need to forward, this one here, and it shows me exactly how to do it. So pretty much following those instructions step by step, it's quite easy. So to give you a visual on how it's done, I'm just going to copy that. And notice how that is the same as the gateway that I took a note of open up a new internet tab, enter in your gateway, press enter. Now I'm prompted with a login and my login is the default admin admin. In lowercase. And just like it says here, I just follow the steps down to virtual server. And here is the section where you enter in the port to forward. And as you can see, I've already entered in the port. So if you're using a different router, which you probably might be, just follow the steps that portforward.com shows you to forward that port. Now, once you have the port forwarded, what you need to do is you need to find out what your external IP address is. This is the IP address that your internet service provider gives you when you set up your internet connection. Not an awful lot of people know what that is off the top of their head, so an easy way to find out is to go to whatismyip.com. So, fresh page, go to Google and search for what is my IP. And this here is what you're looking for. So click on that. 
And now you can see my external IP is this here. So I'm going to take a note. And that there is what people are going to use to connect to my Minecraft server. So I'm going to close down the internet now. I'm going to start up our server. I'm going to start up the game. Now, sometimes it's a little temperamental. You need to give the server a go two or three times or so before it works. Uh, hopefully it'll go on the first shot for us here now, but if not, I'll get it going and you'll see what I need to go through to get access to the server externally. So what you do is you or your friends connecting to your server will click on multiplayer, direct connect, and they will enter in that IP there. So we want to copy and paste. Hopefully this will work. All right, so you see it didn't work here. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to close down the server, start it up again, and I'm going to try again. And you see now it works. So that there is basically what I mean by a little bit temperamental. Sometimes you need to shut down the server, get it up and running again in order to um, to get to gain access to it. So once you've got the server going from your PC and you want your friends to be able to access your server and, you know, build together, they are the steps that you need to do. So have fun mining. And um, I just want to say a little thank you to Volatile for his input and his help in showing me how to get this server going because I wasn't 100% sure. Uh, I hope the instructions are nice, precise, clear for you and you don't have any troubles and I hope you manage to have a lot of fun mining. Thank you all for watching. Please do leave your comments and your feedback and um, I'll talk to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye.